Okay, hi. I'm Pandu from the Red Closet Podcast. For those of you who like watching anime, especially Naruto, you must have often heard of Amaterasu. One of the strongest jutsu from Sasuke and Itachi Uchiha. But did you know that Amaterasu is a goddess who is highly respected by Japanese citizens? So, in this episode I'm gonna talk about Amaterasu the sun goddess. Amaterasu. Amaterasu Omakami or Hiru Menomuchi no Kami in Japanese mythology is the goddess of the sun and the entire universe. Because of this role, Amaterasu is the most important god, Kami, in Shinto religion. Japanese emperors are said to have descended from Amaterasu. The story of Amaterasu is first mentioned in the Kojiki, 680 AD, and the Nihon Shoki, 720 AD, the oldest records of Japanese mythology. It is said that Amaterasu is the sun goddess, the older brother of Sukuyomi, the moon god, and Suzano, the storm and sea god. The three of them are the last three gods who were born when Izanagi, the god who created the island of Japan, performed a self-cleansing ritual after the failed attempt to save his wife, Izanami from Yomi, Underworld. Amaterasu was born when Izanagi washed his left eye, Tsukuyomi was born when Izanagi washed his right eye, and Suzano was born when Izanagi washed his nose. Because Izanagi is still grieving over the fate that befell his wife, he then gives Amaterasu a mandate to lead the universe. According to these records, Amaterasu later became the ruler of the sun and Takamagahara, heaven, with her sister and husband, Sukuyomi. At first, the two of them shared the sky, but after the incident where Sukuyomi, who was sent to represent Amaterasu at a party, killed Uke Mochi, the goddess of food, because of Uke Mochi's way of creating disgusting food, Amaterasu got angry and labeled Sukuyomi as an evil god and distanced herself from the gods. Away from Sukuyomi, for this reason day and night never appear together. The records of Kojiki and Nihon Shoki also tell of Amaterasu's rivalry with another sister, Suzano. When Izanagi ordered Suzano to get out of Takamagahara to Earth, Suzano intended to say goodbye to Amaterasu. Knowing his deceitful and cruel nature, Amaterasu is suspicious, but he agrees to his younger brother's challenge to prove his honesty. The two gods would exchange goods and give birth to gods from him. Amaterasu gave birth to three goddesses from Suzano's sword, while Suzano gave birth to five gods from Amaterasu's necklace. Amaterasu claims the five gods belong to him while the three goddesses belong to Suzano. He decided he won because Suzano's sword gave birth to women. The two gods were quiet for a while until Suzano, in his agitation, went on a rampage and destroyed Amaterasu's fields and threw a hulled pony into her brother's loom, killing one of Amaterasu's servants. Enraged, Amaterasu hid in a cave called Ama no Iwato, hiding the sun for a long time. The gods' urges to come out were ignored by Amaterasu until the gods devised a scheme. The Yata no Kagami mirror would hang from a tree outside the cave while the goddess Ama no Uzume would perform a naked dance nearby. 
Hearing the laughter of the god looking at Ama no Uzume caught Amaterasu's attention, and when she came out, she saw her own reflection in the mirror. In Amaterasu's shock, the god, Aim no Pajitarawo, immediately closed, Ama no Iwato, so that Amaterasu could no longer enter. The release of Amaterasu made the sun shine again on the universe. Even though Amaterasu can be coaxed out again, Suzano is still driven to earth for his actions. After killing the snake, Yamata no Orochi, Suzano gave Amaterasu a gift of peace. The sword Kusanagi which he found in the snake's tail. According to legend, Amaterasu later had a grandson named Niniji, the son of Aim no Oshihomimi no Makoto. Amaterasu assigned Niniji to come down to earth and plant rice there and gave him three of his possessions, the Kusanagi sword, the Yata no Kagami mirror, and the Yasukani no Magatama gem. Niniji was the temporary purchase of Japan's first emperor, Emperor Jima, making Amaterasu emperors of Japan, the three items he gave into the three sacred treasures of Japan. Okay, that's all from Amaterasu's story. If you have a request or suggestion, you can write it in the comment below. If you like this content, please share this video to your friends, your family, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all.